Hi, I'm Dave Walsh, lecturer in American Culture Studies at Washington University in St. Louis. Given all the discord of our current cultural moment and the fragmentation of our common imagination about dignity, about equality, even about truth, and one particular voice that I've come to rely on is Khalil Gibran Muhammad's The Condemnation of Blackness. The reason I find Muhammad's voice so valuable, including in class, is this capacious catalog, this historical register that helps ask the question, why do we have policing? Why does policing operate this way in certain communities? How does criminal justice, if we think about those two terms independently, but how they're synthesized as a, as a structure, as a, as a system, how do we get here? And it's helpful, it's necessary, it's essential work to take that step back and um, kind of meet in history the coalescing moments that imprint our understanding of the criminal and the racialization of all of these structures of law and of order. And he opens us up with uh, a very revealing look at the figure of Frederick Hoffman and his book, The Race Traits, 1896. And it's in this work that Muhammad finds the, the, the vernacular for datatizing blackness as an inherently degenerate racial category that um, permanently scars them, imprints them with this criminality. This Figurement persists over time and informs the relational elements of policing and communities. The over-policing, the, 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 the violent turns taken to keep order. And the sense that, and the very reality that there is a whole cast of people who are still not equal enough to be understood as human. But this is essentially Muhammad with an inv invitation. Come see. Step out of what you think you know. Step out of assumptions. Come into this historical moment. Walk through as he does, deliberately, carefully, meticulously, through all the primary materials, the reconstructions of these arguments that are racist and yet still pass as knowledge. And this is knowledge that's carried forward. Come see, Muhammad says. Come encounter truth. It's going to be painful. And it's going to be unsettling. But it's important, necessary remembering. If we understand remember as kind of having two pieces, uh, re to remember is to, to find some kind of unity with the past. And right now, truth is the oxygen that we're desperate to find. We're kind of suffocating in a lot of revisionism. And Muhammad offers us an anchor, an authoritative voice that speaks to us of the urgency of remembering. Confront, encounter, engage, and be changed by that. <laughs>